Okay. Hello, friends. It's Chris Roussel. And Sarah Weatherly. Today is Wednesday, September 29th, 2021, and this is our weekly update. Uh, so, Miss Sarah, you yes. are doing well today? I am. I You're am. all bundled up in your sweater. I know. It's, it's cold in your office. Yeah, it's I know. always cold in It here. is cold in my office, <laughs> but it's also supposed to be nice and chilly outside as well. Really? Yes. Good walking weather. I know, right? I know. Does Hank like to go on long walks? Yes, he does. He's a cold weather guy with is all he? his thick fur. He doesn't really do too well in the summer. He's all pooped out after two blocks. And he is so handsome. He is. He's right? a very handsome boy. All right. Well, hold that for me. Yes. Uh, ben is in Swanee, Tennessee, along with his wife, Allison, for the alumni lectures. That's why Ben isn't here with us right now. And uh, we are missing him. And so we should be up to proper 22, which would be the proper for this upcoming Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, you will hear us talk about it on our next podcast, which uh, season one, episode two was released yesterday. yesterday. Excellent. Where we talked a little bit about proper 21. Here is proper 22. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you are always more ready to hear than we to pray and to give more than we either desire or deserve. Pour upon us the abundance of your mercy for giving us those things of which our conscience is afraid and giving us those good things for which we are not worthy to ask except through the merits and mediation of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So that's Proper 22 on page 234 of the Book of Common Prayer, and we'll speak a little bit more about it in detail uh, on our next podcast. Yes. So this Friday, October 1st, there is an open house all day at the Yoder Center. Um, as you all, so many of you know, uh, St. John's has had a long-standing relationship with the Yoder Center, uh, the Community Activity Center. That's They've actually been undergoing um, renovations during the course of COVID. So for the last year and a half, uh, the place has been spruced up. They're reopening to the community and we at St. John's have received uh, a formal invitation to attend. So uh, I think it's between 10 and 3, 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. on Friday, October 1st. If you're in the neighborhood, drop by, let them know that you're from St. John's and that we wish them well. I'll be stopping by at some point, depending on my schedule on Friday, and I can't wait to see what they've done over there. We have not this Sunday, but the next Sunday, which is October 10th at 3 o'clock p.m., we will have at Riverside Park the Blessing of the Animals and Holy Eucharist outside. We have had requests from some of our young families who have said, well, look, our kids who are younger than 12 can't be vaccinated. We're a little nervous about coming into the church space. Uh, is there any way we can do something outside? And so we are going to do something outside. Yes, we are. Three o'clock, Sunday, October 10th. Now we will have our usual Eucharists at 8 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. in the church. That doesn't mm -hmm. change. We're simply adding this component for Sunday, October 10th, um, and then depending on how that goes and what kind of response we get, perhaps it's something we can do each month or uh, on, on some semi-regular basis. I don't think yeah. it's something we can do every week, but it's certainly something we can do semi-regularly. Um, are you going to bring Hank? Yeah, I am. And you're going to have him blessed? I am. Um, that's so... Uh... I put together little dog treat bags, I forgot to tell you. Oh, did you? For all the dogs that are coming. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, what about cats? You know, cats don't really do well without a ceiling. Um, <laughs> knowing from personal experience, trying to walk my cat didn't go well. And I'm going to tell you something right now, folks. If you have a pet snake, you keep that thing at home. Mm -hmm. I, I am not blessing snakes. I'm not touching snakes. I'm I, not looking I, at them. I am not looking at snakes. Mm -hmm. If you have a snake, then then uh, call somebody else to do an exorcism. I, I, just, I just think they're... <laughs> Icky and gross and uh, they have ah. no legs. They have no legs. They have no legs. Anyway, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, any other animals by far, by all means, yeah. bring them. You know, Go if ahead. you got a horse, bring spiders, a horse. Spiders, pet spiders. But it will be no, no pet spiders. No. People do. Oh, I know. That's weird, right? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I just no called offense you weird. to anyone. No, just no called offense. you weird. No mm -hmm. offense, but you know. Uh, How do you love that? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't love it. I, I guess. don't. No. I don't know. Uh, you had youth group this past Sunday. I did. How'd it go? It went really, really well. Yeah. We had a turnout of nine kids. We had a lot of fun. 
Um, we had pizza thanks to Ellen Edmonds. Oh, um, nice. She donated some money for us to go get oh, it. And so we are sweet. so thankful for that. Um, so we had pizza, we had candy, we had soda, which I was like, mm, mm, I'm going to go for it anyway. Sugar and caffeine. And, and pizza. Yeah. Um, but we had a lot of fun. It was great fellowship. And we're going to hold youth group at Riverside Park after the Eucharist, after the Blessing of the Animals um, from 4 to 5.30 on the 10th. Okay, so we'll do the Eucharist with the Blessing of the Animals at 3. And then immediately thereafter from 4 to 5.30, you'll have mm. your youth group. Yes. That's Sunday, October 10th. Mark it down in your calendars and please plan to be there. Uh, we had, you should have received by now our stewardship letters. Um, John Edmonds has sent his letter as campaign chair along with the um, pledge cards. You can fill the pledge cards out and mail it to us or you can go online and you can pledge online. Um, either way, it counts, it works, and we are oh so grateful. We are looking forward to 2022, mm -hmm. looking beyond COVID, and really eager to get back into the full swing of the ministries that we have available at St. John's, most especially youth group things. Yes, Sarah built a budget that is very uh, hopeful and optimistic, yes. <laughs> but we can only do those things through your gift uh, and generosity, and we thank you in advance. Uh, Miss Sarah, anything else you've got for us? That's all I got. Youth House is, or Missional House, yes. is almost completed. Um, just more painting and trim work to do on the upstairs well, we level. we still got carpeting And carpet do. and We've furniture, got furniture to do. and all that got... fun stuff. But, you know, the, the hard part. I love your optimism, over. though. We're almost done. No, we're not. <laughs> I know we're not, but, you know, it's um, the hard part for me is almost over. I am, Oh, got it. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Well... It's uh, sort of a quiet week right now. Uh, I, Allison and I were on vacation for this past week, so today's my first day back in the office and uh, looking forward to mm -hmm. responding to emails and getting my feet on the ground. So thank you everybody for your time today. God bless you, have a great week, and we do hope to see you very, very soon. Yes. All right, take care. Bye.